Are silver fillings bad for you? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist and I get lots of questions from my patients about silver fillings and whether or not they are dangerous. Patients wonder if they have old silver fillings in their mouth, should they get them all removed? Let's talk. There are two types of dental fillings, silver, aka amalgam, and tooth colored, aka composite or resin. Traditional silver fillings are known for containing an alloy, a mixture of metals, including mercury. Silver fillings have been used for decades and they actually have many advantages over tooth colored fillings. Wait, rewind. Did I just say mercury? A mixture of metals, including mercury. Isn't mercury harmful? Here's the scoop. Yes, mercury can be harmful in large amounts as a chemical in the environment. But if you have silver fillings in your mouth, don't freak out because when mercury is combined with other metals, as in an alloy, like a filling in your mouth, it is extremely safe. Nowadays, more attractive and less invasive materials are making silver fillings less common, but they still are relevant in some dental scenarios. For one, they can be placed when the oral environment is wet and not completely dry. So for someone who has a heavy saliva flow, a back tooth that is difficult to reach or isolate, or a young kid who is extra squirmy, all of these dental situations actually render silver fillings as a better choice than tooth colored fillings. In the past, silver fillings used to be much cheaper than tooth colored fillings, but now the cost of tooth colored restorations has come down significantly, so that's really not a huge thing anymore. Good. That was background knowledge. Now, let's say you have an old silver filling that is starting to leak, pull away from your tooth, or it is cracked. That's the only time that there is technically a potential risk of mercury exposure. But again, it's nothing to worry about because it's such a low amount unless you are specifically allergic to mercury or you have a neurological disorder or kidney problems. Those are the three highest risk groups for mercury exposure. But again, this is only if your old silver filling is leaking. It's fine if it's intact in your mouth. How can you tell if it's intact? What you need to do is visit your dental office routinely for them to monitor and make sure your silver fillings look stable both clinically and radiographically. But really, regardless of whether you have a silver filling or a tooth colored filling, all fillings that are damaged need to be replaced. Because all concerns about mercury aside, a damaged filling runs the risk of your tooth cracking apart around it, then requiring a crown or even a root canal. So no matter what type of filling you have, if it's intact, great. If it's damaged, then you have to replace it. And before we go, if you're someone who is still like, no way, I want these silver fillings out of my mouth. They aren't damaged or leaky or nothing. I just don't like the idea of them in my mouth. According to the FDA, removing silver fillings that are already in your mouth is not always advised. The risk of possible mercury exposure, even though so small, is still at its highest when you're physically placing or removing the fillings because of all the vapors that are created during the process. So really changing them out is what will put you at a higher risk of mercury exposure opposed to just leaving them where they are. It's the one time in dentistry we can say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. If it's not leaky, or damaged, just leave it there. So having said that, I hope the take home message from this video is that you don't have to run to your dentist's office right now to get all of your silver fillings removed. Both dental experts and the FDA do agree that silver fillings are safe and best to be kept where they are until they need to be replaced for structural reasons. If you know your filling is outdated and it seems like it will break down soon, of course, discuss it personally with your dentist as everyone's circumstances are unique and treatment plans will be determined on a case by case basis. Don't freak out, it's no big deal either way. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com or hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.